Hi guys, it's Monday. Welcome back. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I want to say a warm welcome to all my new uh, subscribers and viewers. Hi, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related projects. And normally I would say the occasional vintage treasure hunting. But if you have seen my videos this weekend with my XXL haul, uh, I do a lot of that lately. <laughs> but today is a crafty day. I, uh, I have a project in mind. Uh, let me tell you all about it. On my treasure hunts, I sometimes, sometimes, rarely actually, find beautiful vintage ephemera. Like these bills ledgers these are um some of them are even antique most of them are vintage but some of them are really really old so i love these i absolutely this is from 1936 almost antique yeah uh, all sorts i collect these i treasure them um the problem with these is a they are very expensive but you know that's okay because they're worth it um and you can only use them once that to me is a problem so uh then i don't use them at all which is a shame because it's from 1886 what yeah love it so what i do i am very fortunate to have a printer scanner thingy um that does sort of really well and i have a little bit of scanning skills <laughs> i guess so what i do if i have the time uh is that i scan all of these well i still have a long way to go uh, and then I make it into um, sort of a digital set. Let's say a digital set like this one. So that I can print it out, cut it out and use it again and again. Great idea, right? So what I did, I decided to share some um, of it with you. It's available on my Kofi um, site. It is linked below. This is a new one that I recently uploaded there. I believe it was Friday. Was it Friday or Thursday? I don't know yet. Um, I cannot remember. Thursday or Friday. Well, you know, it's been there for un for a couple of days. You can buy it there. Then you can print it out. And then we'll have a lovely play. So today I'm going to have a lovely play with you guys. What are we using today? The European Vintage Ephemera Set. Yes, it's available on my Kofi. Most of you already got it. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. If you don't have it and want to have a play along, um, it is linked below. Yep. Print it out. Uh, before you print everything out, this page, just this page, um, print something on the back, if at all possible. Uh, because I want to make this into a sort of a real envelope. So you're going to see the back. So I printed some beautiful sort of ledger design on here. Uh, most of it will be, you know, just white on the back. So just print this out double sided. If not, if you're like, I don't know how to do this. Um, when you cut this out, uh, back it with a beautiful piece of paper. Like a coffee dyed paper or lined paper or any paper you like. So this one. We are going to um, see the back of, yes. Then I'm going to use the, well, the usual. I'm going to use some glues, uh, uh, scissors. I am going to use my circle punches for these. Fortunately enough, they are the exact size of my punches. I didn't even measure them, but that's okay. I am also going to punch these out because I really, really like these. Um, the fancy tool that I'm using is my deckled edge trimmer why because for instance this piece see it's almost like somebody used a deckled edge trimmer on it if you don't have that you can use your tearing ruler uh, if not you can just sort of cut it and go um take your scissors like so like so and then you sort of you can rough it up yeah i've never done that well i've done that but not on on camera some inking uh, i'm using Maybe some bits and bobs, but not uh, not a lot. I want to use almost everything in this set. Let's just utilize everything. I did, however, do some did some fuzzy cutting last night. I am going to use botanicals. Yeah, because I have lots of botanical books, as you know, and uh, bird books. Um, so I'm going to do some botanical stuff with this. So print it out. I'm going to cut it out. I'll see you in an hour. Well, for you, it's like two seconds. But for me, it's going to be an hour. I'm going to... Uh, cut everything out and ink it and I will show you where I've used my deckled edge 
trimmer. Yeah, I'll be right back. So I got everything out, but I want to show you what I want to do with these pieces. Yes, because this was a front and a back of uh, one piece of ephemera, as well as this one. This is a, like a, um, a postage card. And this was a letter, field post letter. This is from Germany. Um, and then the envelope. Yeah. What I did, I sort of roughly cut it out. There were a couple of straight lines in this, uh, this side and this side. And this is really sort of roughed up. And, and I want to keep it sort of that way. Um, uh, the postcards, I just trimmed um, all around it. And with the envelope, I did use my deckled edge trimmer here. Because, you know, that looks fancy. And um, I have one, so why not use it? As you can see, I printed something on the back. I uh, really like this effect. It's going to be a pocket on here and um, a closure. Sort of a closure thingy. Right, so. So, this is going to be the simplest one, sort of. What I'm going to do is I am just going to glue these two pieces together. They will probably not be the exact same size. Because of my fantabulous printing skills um, I need a glue page let's do the chocolate one <laughs> but that is alright guys because they are almost the same size it's like a millimeter or something but you, never, you can never have them the exact size I'm sorry well maybe you can but I do not know how to do that Let's have them the right side up here. I'm just gluing them together. Well, that's pretty close. It is leaving a little bit of a wide edge here. It's also because of my cutting skills. Let's be honest, my cutting skills are rubbish. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to trim it. Trim the white edgings off. Shall we do it with deckle edge trimmer? Yes, I'm going to do that. Why not? Why not? Um, that's the right there. Oh, it makes so much noise. I'm so sorry. That's the thing that I really don't like about this machine. Is it stuck? Yes. It will give A, a nice effect to the card. And B, it will take off. Oh yeah, that is so cute. It will take off the white it is peeking out uh, the tiniest bit it's just a little bit but do this after they are glued together so not beforehand otherwise you'll have a problem gluing them together in this exact same manner that's not far enough it is now look at all the rough <sighs> That's not the trimmer, that's just me. See? It looks like a real postcard now. I'm going to ink it later. Then this one, what I'm going to do. Guys, there are, there's the torn edge. This needs to be to the side, yeah? And then I cut these ones, these two parts straight. So I'm going to glue these together like so. Have a good look. I'm going to glue them together like so. So this is going to be straight and this is going to be straight. This has sort of a torn edge and this one. So I'm keeping these uh, apart. Yeah, there we go. So gluing the two pieces down. Hopefully in the manner that I have shown you and not the other way around. Yep. Yes. In this corner. Because these corners were straight, were aligned. So try to align them as best as possible, like so. You cannot manage this with a deckled edge trimmer because these are too wide. I really want to keep these gaps in. Hopefully they're straight. It's a little bit peeking out, but that's just fine. Um, I'm going to cut all around this, but I'm going to um, cut a little bit. How am I going to say it? I'm not uh, going, to, going to cut it on the edge, but a little bit beyond the edge to be sure that both sides don't show any white. Does that make any sense? Okay, well, watch me do it. And I'm just going to, you know, wiggle my um, scissors about a little bit. Let me show you. 
see now it's a little bit of white showing that's that's why i want to cut a little bit in the design and not outside of the design let's do it on this side i'm just gonna wiggle it try to sort of mimic the tear that is on here And if there's any white showing, that's okay, because we ink, can ink it. Also, I should have let it dry, but I have no time. I have no time to let it dry. You should let it dry. <laughs> Just to be honest, you should let it dry. But inking will fix this. The rest of it, I'm going to use my Deco Edge trimmer for. Yeah. That works fine. And this one as well. Shall we do the last one as well? Oh, why not? We're here. See? Fantastic. Now I need to fold it. I'm not going to do it uh, yet. Because I really need to let it dry. So I'm going to let this dry. And then we're going to fold it. It will be a lovely little piece of ephemera then. Yes. Love it. So these three we need to sort of do something with. The other parts I'm just going to cut out completely. These are all the bigger items that I cut out. I used on some of them corner rounders. Some of them I decked edge trimmer. I inked all around them. But I'll show you once I get to each piece. And then we also have the, all these small pieces. Yes, the my bits and bobs. Like these ones. I have these ones. I want to do something with these. So each page ha also has some small bits and bobs. That are also cut out. But that's the, the sort of bits and bobs that I'm going to decorate with. I have them in a particular order because I have ideas for all of them. It's going to be a lot and I don't have uh, 14 hours. <laughs> so I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to start with this one. You might hear some raining guys because it's full on fall in, uh, in here in, in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, and I have a glass roof so you can hear it. So I'm going to use this one. Yes, what I did, I backed it with coffee dyed lined paper. So it's going to be a sort of a small journaling card. Yep, round the corners, inked all around it. And the one, I want to make this one into a tab. Uh, I did print something on the back. If not, you can ink it or stamp on it, whatever you want. So this is one of the smaller pieces. I am going to round corners, I guess. Yeah, I think so. And this one I'm going to round the corners. You can also snip it or do nothing with it. That's also sort of a possibility. There you go. Need some ink. On one of the other uh, sort of um, pieces, I'm going to make a pocket where this, this will fit in nicely, I think. I think. Don't know for sure yet. So I'm going to have it as a tab. Like so. And then I did some fussy cutting. I did this one. Cute. Um, I'm gonna ink it a little bit. Yeah, just just a little bit. It is. It's not really white because these are from. Are these from book pages? No. I did print them. Um, it's not stark white, but I just want them to be a little bit darker. Ah, oh, see. Already like it much, much better. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, so I'm going to ink this on. You don't need art glitter glue for this. You can just do it with glue stick. Not all the way. Yeah, because I want this to stick out. Uh, like so. And then I'm going to put... The lovely flowers on. I like this combination. Um, I like botanicals and uh, florals and such. But I also really love the sort of the grungy vintage stuff. So why not sort of combine these two. And make something really, really pretty. So yeah. We have like a cute small journal card. You could put something on here. A stamp or... 
what have you. Or just write a little story. Let's do another piece. Now for the envelope. Yeah. Um, I inked all around it on both sides. You could, uh, if you uh, didn't print on both sides, you can also do it like so, with lined paper. I want to fold it. I am going to use my scoreboard. You really don't need your scoreboard for this. There's a line on here. You can just fold it on the line. It'll be just fine. Yep. Uh, like so. There you go. Now what I want to do is make a pocket here. So that is sort of a real envelope. For that I'm going to use this piece. I cut it out roughly because I need to make it more to size. So what I'm doing is uh, well, taking a whole piece off. How big is this? Where is my ruler? This is in inches, love, in inches. A little bit over four and a half. Four and a little bit over four and a half. I want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make this four and a half. First, what I'm going to do is just going to trim the sides. Like so. I'm going to make it four and a half. So this is going to be on here. Am I going to use my deckled edge trimmer for the top? Yes. Yes, I am. I just want to make good use of this machine. Yeah. I'm not going to do that to the sides, just, just on the top. And then how tall do we need it? Let's say a little over two and a half. There you go. Did we do it right? I just wanted it a little bit smaller. It is. And I'm going to round the corners because I also rounded these corners. And let's just say a width seven. There you go. There you go. Lovely. I'm not going to make a notch in here because that'll be a waste of deckled edge trimming. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? I think so, but hey. So I'm going to glue it just to these three sides. Yes, the deckled edge, the this edge, I will keep my fingers here. We do not need to glue it on there. There you go. Lovely. Now I want to make sort of a closure here that this will stay closed and do some decorating here. On this piece was this sort of seal from well, something. Um, what I did in the set, I um, made it a little bit bigger, put it on here as sort of a label. So I want to make a closure with this one. So what I did, I, I uh, punched them out. Yeah, and then also punched a normal piece of paper out because I want this to be a little bit sort of sturdier. This was the exact, was, was it? One and a half inch. <laughs> Yay me, I didn't even know when I did this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this all together. I already uh, glued uh, one piece of the normal paper on here. So it, this is four circles. Does it need four circles? No, it just needs three. So there you go. <laughs> It just needs three. This is art glitter glue. So it doesn't even need to be two of these. No, because we're going to glue it on. You won't even see the back. But, you know, I had them laying around. So why not? Inking them, not using any brads or eyelets or what have you. That's why I made them a little bit sturdier. I'm just going to have it on here. Like so, so that you can sort of tuck the flap underneath. See? That's why I'm just gluing the bottom half of this. Uh, 
I'm going to have it as low as possible. Eyeballing the middle. There you go. Letting it dry. While I'm letting it dry, I want to do some decorating on here. I've got this one out. Yes. Where is it on the page? Do I still have a page where this is on? Well, normally this is... With, oh, yeah. Here. Like so. Uh, so I cut it out, rounded the corners and inked it. And then you can have it on here. Yeah. Simple, simple. What I would do is print these again and again and just cut them all, all out and have lovely labels that you can use everywhere, not only on this project. See, like so. And then you put this in here. Tada! Envelope pocket. What you're going to put in there? Um, I'm going to put these in. Yeah. Two of these circles. Just going to pop them in. Tada! Fantastic! Item number two. We have lots to go. Now I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to do anything fancy to it. I just I cut it out and inked all around it. I love it as is. Um, I'm going to decorate it with a beautiful fussy cut. This one. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it so much. And then just a label that says Rotterdam. Yay! Yay for Rotterdam. Because there's a little bit of the writing on here is in blue and this is in blue. I thought it might look nice. However, the colors are a little bit the same. So that's why I'm sort of weaving it um, through the fuzzy cut. So it has a little bit of a backing and you'll see that it is separate from the original one. Yeah, I did not ink my fuzzy cut. I'm not going to do that because it's very fragile and I am afraid it will break. Now, where did I leave my, uh, leave my glue page? Over here. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to use? I'm going to use art for the top part. And I'm going to leave this with... Uh, I'm not going to do art on here because I need to flip it up a little bit. So Just art on these parts. There you go. Yeah, while well, I'm gluing it, guys, thank you so much for watching um, my whole videos this weekend. Got a lot of uh, comments about, well, these cigar bands might be sort of, you know, expensive or. So please check them out. I will. I will check them out. How are we going to do this? Well, like so. Just like so. so this is on. How did, I, how, how did I want to do this? Well, not like so. <laughs> how am I going to do it? Well, you're not going to see the whole part of Rotterdam, I guess. Okay, I'm going to do it like so. I'm going to lose a little bit of the berry. Why did I do this? I really don't want to lose any of the berry, actually. We're going to do make... Um, I'm going to do trick. I'm going to do trick. I'm going to MacGyver it. See, what I'm going to do... Don't do this, guys. No. I'm going to cut up this leaf. Over here. Let's cut it off. Yeah. So I'm going to have this one over here and then I'm going to reuse the leaf sort of over here. Somewhere. It'll be fine. <laughs> I had it all figured out. Did you see? Yeah, but then you use art glitter glue, so you cannot move it about anymore. So that is a shame. So I'm going to have this over here and then another leaf. Make it into a puzzle. Oh yeah, that looks okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have it over here. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. It 
it's like it's attached here to this sort of branch yes makes more sense to me now i can also glue this one on fantastic i'm not going to do anything else to it um you can have this as a journal card as a pocket side loading pocket whatever you want i just think it's a lovely uh let's do another one for the next piece i'm using two pieces yes so this one i use my decal edge trimmer or use your tearing ruler inked all around it and this one, this lovely receipt from 1902. Again, Rotterdam. I don't know why they're all from Rotterdam. And this is French, so it's, you know, it is European ephemera. What I'm going to do, I am going to make a pocket on here with this one, like so, in the corner. More like a tuck spot, so I'm not going to um, glue the top. So I'm just going to glue on these two sides. There you go. I'm not gluing it all the way to the edge. I'm leaving a little bit of room because that looks much prettier to me at least. Yep. Like so. So in your journal, you can have this as a journal card packet with something uh, or as a pocket with a pocket or whatever you want. I'm using one more of these of Rotterdam. I well, They're on here. I cut them out, rounded corners, ink them. It's just a pretty label with it. A fantastic city on it i must say i'm gonna glue it on here but i am not gonna glue this part to the um bottom does that make any sense yeah i'm just gonna glue it on the sort of darker part here there you go there you go rotterdam like so and then I have another fussy cut. I love this one. Took me a while to cut out. So I'm going to have this, um, well, on here. On a piece of Rotterdam. So you don't see that's Rotterdam anymore. But that's okay. That's okay. I know it's there. Using art for this again. Because of all the small bits. These all came from a book. So these are not... Um, Digitals or anything. And there you go. Now you have a sort of pocket here. Oh, I did glue it on here, but that's okay. That's okay. I am using this one to put in here. Like so. I will peek out a little bit. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. Do you love it? Well, I do. I love it. So easy peasy. Let's do another one. For this one, I'm using a couple of pieces. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. It moved. Uh, this was what we made. Yes, we glued these together. Uh, I can fold it now. Because uh, it's dry. Inked all around it. I just need to... There's a line here so you can sort of score it. There we go. Yes, it folds perfectly. I am going to ink this top half because I didn't do that. Great. So we have a sort of a floppy, flippy floppy. I like this. Then this is a beautiful piece. On this piece uh, was this sort of thing that I really liked. So I made a separate scan of this. And over here, uh, on this one, I cut it off. But it's this one, actually. Yeah. So I'm going to reuse this one on here. Um, it had a hole in here, so I repunched it and inked it, used my decal edge. So this is going to be um, another pocket, a card, or what have you. I'm going to have a um, pocket on here. This is also a separate piece. This was from Ledger from 1895. I just inked it. I'm going to have a pocket on here, like so. Gluing three sides. go yes and i just want to reuse this piece over here I'm just gonna put it on 
nothing fancy or special, special, but I really like this piece and I want to reuse it. There you go. So we made a pocket and then you can sort of flip this in here like so. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You can put both sides in, of course, have it as a sort of pocket pocket. You can do it like so or just one side, have it sort of be um, a flip up, a flip up. You know, me and flippy floppies. I'm going to do a flippy floppy, uh, guys. You've been asking for it, so I'm going to make one really cute. Very simple, but cute. Uh, I have more. Let's do a lovely postcard, yeah? Uh, postcard, both sides, deckled edged it, inked it. Deckled edged it is now a thing. So what I want to do is use one of these, yeah? Uh, let me show you. No, it's those, those two. Um, I just cut them out and on this one I rounded the corners. So I want to use this on the other side because this already really lovely. Love this, this. Beautiful, but we can do something to it. So I want to use this one. Then I have a sort of a fussy cut because florals and because this is pink, I'm going to use this one. Another one that was on, on here, but I scanned separately. So yeah, you can use it again. I'm just going to have this behind here and this sort of over here. Do you want to sort of move it up and yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I'm going to glue this on first. Really nice. It's from uh, 1918. Does it say 18? Could be. Could well be. So, I'm going to have this here. Yep. And then this one goes here. And this one goes here. Just simple, some decorating. And this is actually sort of the letterhead uh, from this card, from this big card. See? There. So I reused everything. Also might give you some ideas of um, other digitals that you have. Just see what it looks like and if you can, you know, make something out of a small part of it. Just lovely, lovely little postcard. Yep, quick, right? Yeah. Um, let's do another one. Now for this one. Um, deckled edged it <laughs> on, the, on these uh, sides and then this has sort of a swirl. It looks like this. Yes, love it. From 1933. It is a part of a letter. I want to do some decorating. What I want to do is use this piece. I fussy cut this piece. This was originally, where is the postcard? This piece over here. So I've blown it up, made a sort of scan of it uh, so that you can use it. I fussy cut all around it. Yeah, so I want to use this on here. But there isn't anything else that's green on here. Um, I do want to use one of the circles, like so. And this is one of the um, labels, and I just snipped the ends. Looks really nice. But there's only one green element on here. I was thinking maybe I could do some stamping. Yes, that's what I want to do. I've taken out um, field notes for this one. And I think I want to have, of course, some numbers here and there. Or maybe this says collect. Can we have this on here like so? Collect here and then orders attended to day or night. Yes, let's just do that. All right, so. New stamp. So I'm going to pre-stamp it. 
on here. Let's have a look. Yes. And that is the exact same color. See that? Very happy. For those who want to know who, what color this is, this is stays on forest green. Forest green. There you go. There's one. And I'm going to have this one on there. There's a little bit of a spot here. So now there are three green elements on here. And that makes me happier. Then just, you know, the one. Yeah? Perfect. Am I still in frame? I am now. This one first. This is one of the circles. Doesn't really need art glitter glue, but hey, it was here, so why not? This was from November 1933, so old. And don't tell me you were born in 1933. <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> well, good for you if you were. Lovely, right? This is, I believe, the official Dutch, uh, what's it called? Um, crest? Crest? Is it called Crest? Yes. It has some French on here. Je m'attendrai. It, it means something. I forgot what it meant. <laughs> I know it in Dutch, but I cannot translate it. But it's sort of, yes, I struggled and now I am. Or I don't know. It is lovely, though. It really, really is. I do like the adding of the green stamping. Perfect. Uh, I have two more to go. I have two more to go. So I have this one. Yes, I'm going to flip it like so. Yes, this is a check originally from uh, 1921. It is Dutch. I'm going to have it as a tag, this side up. I'm going to have this as a topper on the tag, because why not? And I have this whole thing over here that I really like, and uh, another seal. I'm going to have everything stick out. It's going to be a let's stick out. It's going to be a stick out tag. Yeah. I'm going to have this over here. Again, not gluing it all the way. Just half of it. This is going to be the topper. And then this is going to stick out here. Another one of these seals. This time I did not round the corners, but I snipped it. Just in case you don't have a corner rounder or like this effect better. Like so. Oh, I'm really, I, I did, I used some stamps now. So now I'm like, maybe I want uh, another stamp. Stamp something on here. Oh, yeah, let's do, let's do uh, my dots. My dots. Just add some more background interest to it. Doesn't really need it because it's already very fantastic. But hey, I'm going to have this over here and then this over here. Yep. That's it. That's it. This came from a book. You can tell because there is an image on the other side. Oops. That's why I don't like using glue stick for this. It didn't rip. Well, yeah, it did. It did, but it's still sort of together. Ripped here. There you go. I'm still missing something. 
Guys, I'm going to use something that is not in the kit. Am I? Yeah, I am. I want to use a label on here. A green one. A big one. Do we have a big green one or only the smaller ones? I have only the smaller ones. That's okay. I just really it needs something. It needs something bigger. Yes, I have bigger ones. Probably going to have lots of questions. Whose are these? These are from Sandra. Oh, Old Mate Awesome. Oma Verkoopt. I'll link her uh, shop below. It is on Instagram. Yes, she ships everywhere. These are sticker labels. Also, uh, I forgot to mention last time about the sort of paper lace doilies. These. These are also from her shop. Is that better? Oh, do we need it higher up? On the other side? Yes, I'm going to put it there. I just needed a uh, sort of a another green element. And there you go. Lovely. One more to go. For the last one, that's this one. Again, it is from Rotterdam. This is where I took sort of the label from. Yeah, I did some decal edging and some cutting and inking just to make it a little bit more rough. I really want to use one of these beautiful pharmacy labels. Going to have this one on here. Then I also have this one, the smaller version we had. I uh, made a big one like so and then a smaller version so you can use them a different sort of versions of these i'm gonna have this over here isn't that wonderful i'm gonna lose this part i guess because it's way too big but i do want to have this on here and then this is a piece of the uh, postcard see i'm scanned it a little bit bigger and then i fussy cut all around it and i'm thinking i want to have this sort of underneath here like so, just as a beautiful decorated journal card pocket. Oh, I have you. What have you? You can use it for whatever you want. There you go. Here's one. Then here's the other one. this smaller one let's let's just see where we want it because we want this over here yeah they're just touching each other I really want to have the bit that says pharmacy showing. This took some fuzzy cutting, yes. How did you do all the insides? Well, I'm going to show you a wonderful tool that I have been using for a couple of years now. That I really, really like. I am going to cut this off, guys, because I really... This looks just weird. It just looks weird. Where's my tool? Oh, obviously I can... Oh, it's here. Uh, a swivel knife. It's by Fiskers. It's a swivel knife. Highly recommend. Yes, uh, that's how I cut out all these inner parts. It is done. It's done. Love it. I have no clue how long this video is, probably long, uh, but we made lovely, lovely pieces with the kit. Let's do the end result. And here they are. I love them a bunch. This is made with a kit.
with the European Vintage Ephemera Kit. I've used almost every bit of it. Um, probably not all the circles, all these pharmacy labels. I put some in here and there, but there's a lot on there. On there. But all the bigger parts I have used. I love it. Let me just show you what we did. We started with this small card. Yeah. And uh, it fits perfectly in here. It's so cute. Then the postcard that we put together. And just a nice decorator. I love the envelope. This is um, something I have not done myself before. I have lots of beautiful envelopes. I'm going to start scanning them and do this trick because I love it. Yeah. Had some of the circles in here. And uh, yeah, you close it like so. And this is the front. Beautiful, beautiful. And a lovely big card. Yeah. A large tag. Used one of Sandra's labels. Yeah, it's sticking out. You can also you put it in a pocket like so. Or like so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do with it what you want. You can even have it as uh, something like this. Doesn't really matter. Be another beautiful card. Just with some lovely decorating on here. Yeah. And this one. I love the stamping. Yeah, it's like it's an old letter. It's almost real. And then this one. Really, really cute. Uh, with this sort of folded letter in here. Yeah, and you can do some journaling on the back. Or maybe you can even uh, decorate it. Or do some decorating here. And I'm going to put it in here. So, loads. Loads from one set. So that's it for today. I hope you had fun. I hope you could craft along with me. Uh, I know some of you have already bought the kit. And um, I'm hoping you could do something similar to this if you have if you did and you use instagram please tag me yes i would love to see all the creations that you guys uh, made um if you don't have the kit and want to buy it want to have a sort of a play with it it is linked below in um the description box it is on my coffee site if you have any questions about that please email me uh, because the answer is probably going to be longer than I want to put in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll be back again tomorrow with another crafty video. Don't know what yet, but uh, hopefully it's going to be as lovely as this one. See you then. Bye guys.